Hi, I'm Julia Corbett, and today I want to share with you a really delicious recipe. I'm going to be using jungle peanuts, um, some honey dates, lucuma, and a variety of uh, different superfoods. So I like to call this recipe a um, peanut butter honey date fudge, and it's also going to include some uh, dried cherries, and it's going to be super delicious. So the first thing I do is I have uh, three cups of lightly roasted jungle peanuts in my food processor here. And to lightly roast the jungle peanuts, what you want to do is you want to put them on a sheet tray um, and put them in the oven at about 250 degrees for uh, 15 to 20 minutes or so. Maybe a little longer, maybe a little less, just depending on your oven. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to process it until it's a smooth paste, until it's a peanut butter. Here we go. It's starting to turn into like a paste here. Um, it's still a little crumbly, so we want it to go a little longer. Okay, so once it's kind of balled up like that, you know it's ready. Um, if you're just going to use this peanut butter, um, you know, to spread on toast or raw crackers or whatever you like, um, you might want to let it go a little bit longer. Um, and you can add the honey and salt and a few of the superfoods uh, for a butter like that. But um, now I'm just going to add all the rest of the ingredients. Uh, I'm using coconut flakes to bind with the jungle peanuts and that's three cups of coconut flakes and that's actually when you put it in the refrigerator it's going to help it set so you can cut it um, and it'll cut into nice little squares. I think I'm going to process this first actually just to get it incorporated. So here we go. some honey dates. It's an actual variety of dates, a honey date, and I got it from the local farmer's market here, uh, down here in Southern California. Um, if you can't find honey dates, then the jewel dates are fine too. And this is a third of a cup, so I'm just going to pour those in there. And then we've got um, about a quarter of a cup of raw honey. This is California wildflower honey. There's a little bit of vanilla bean in the bottom here. I like to infuse them together. Um, so there's that. And you always want to make sure to use raw honey, of course, for the beneficial enzymes and uh, everything. And then we've got a tablespoon of vanilla bean powder. Or you can use one whole vanilla bean and just scrape out the seeds, but the vanilla bean powder is just really easy to use. And then we've got in here, two tablespoons of lucuma powder and lucuma is a delicious superfood from um, South America and it's a fruit that grows on trees and it's very high in beta carotene, um, niacin, iron and it has kind of a maple like flavor so I really love that paired with um, peanuts and honey and all that. And then we've also got a couple herbs so I have ashwagandha we're going to use a half a teaspoon of ashwagandha Ashwagandha is also known as Indian ginseng, um, and it's an adaptogen. And then we've got uh, eleuthero, and this is um, also known as Siberian ginseng, so this is also an adaptogen. So I like to play with the adaptogens, and they've got, they've got a nice flavor that goes with um, like a robust nut-like peanuts, too. So it's a nice pairing. And then I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of um, Hawaiian sea salt. This is a deep sea salt crystallized. And that's just going to be um, a nice salt to add in there. And then I would say about a teaspoon of cinnamon. I want it to have kind of a spice, so I'm using a whole teaspoon. And then I'm going to put in a little bit of coconut oil here. So. That'll also help it to bind together and make it a little more creamy. Um, and that's just about a tablespoon. You don't need too much. We don't want it to be too gooey. <laughs> so here we go. Okay, so that mixes together pretty quick. Um, and the sides need to be a little bit. <laughs> Pair it 
Here's our little dog. Percy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> dried cherries. Um, you can also use, you know, dried figs or whatever you like, um, like chopped up dried bananas would be really good too. But um, I think I'm going to like cherries in this recipe. And that's about a third of a cup of the dried cherries. And we're just going to pulse it lightly um, and break them down just a little bit, but I want to have some texture too. Like um, like a brownie mix, you know. It's kind of kind of uh, between a cookie and a fudge. So I'm just gonna put this in a parchment lined uh, square pan here. So they're gonna be pretty thick pieces. Uh, let's take this guy out, and this will sustain your energy. Um, for hours, you know, if you want to take this for a hike or after a run, it's a great replenishment. And it's pretty easy to just pack in there. And you might want to make it a little more pretty, but there we go. It's our peanut butter honey date. Um, brownie fudge and you just want to refrigerate this for you know a couple hours and then you can take out the parchment and cut it into little pieces. I'm Julia Corbett and you can visit my website dubianaalchemy.com and I'd love to see you there. Thanks so much.